y'all get your stuff out. And if you've been building a lot of stuff together, it'll be a little bit, you'll have some time to look over stuff if you want. Circle or underline the house stuff first. We're going to get through all that. So what happens first? It has to exist. If it doesn't exist, we can't do anything with it. So it's got to exist. Then what? There's a speaker since built with the committee. The committee has to get it before they can do anything with it. If they don't have it, they can't do anything with it. Okay. They gotta look at it before they do anything to it. So they're gonna look at it, and they're gonna do stuff to it. They can't vote on it until they decide when to vote on it. So that make that should make sense. Like you can't do none of these, you can't do any of these before the other. Now we go through the Senate. Senate, Senate, Senate. What if there was four Senates? Four. So what? What has to happen first? Got to exist. They got to send it. Eventually they vote. How many bills do we have right now? We got two. So we need to turn it into one. So we're going to turn it into a compromise bill. The House and Senate has not seen this one yet. Then they send it to the president. This is always last. So we'll do the House first, then do the Senate, then eventually get to the president. Are you on that? What the blank is in charge of what goes on in the House and the Senate. The majority party is in charge of what goes on in the House and the Senate. If y'all want to highlight this, underline it, keep track of it, that's perfect. Who are the people represented by an office holder? Constituents. 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 People represented by law. So. This thing says Congress can do whatever is necessary and proper to do what needs to be done. Stretches the power of Congress. The elastic clause. The elastic clause stretches. Can I write that down? That's something all right with me. Necessary and proper clause is the elastic clause. How long is a senator's term? Six. Six years. Senator is six. And they're staggered. So how is the House different from the Senate? Everyone's up for re-election in the House. So they can't they have to start over. How many are up for re-election in the Senate every election? Every two years, oh, one third. One third. 33, 34 of them, one third of them. So two thirds are coming back, so they don't start over. They're called a continuous body. They don't start over. The House and Senate can do what to a presidential veto with a two thirds vote? They can override it. Y'all can highlight here. 
red sunglasses, the circlet. This is all test stuff. How many matching questions are there? How many answers are there? Four. So what answers do you use? The right ones. Don't use the wrong ones. What is done after the census to determine how many reps? Reapportionment. Reapportionment is after the census. When the state draws the new districts, redistricting. redistricting. And that has to be done after reapportionment. He's got to go to the numbers. You have to know the numbers before you can reapportion. Representative's term is how long? Two years. How many senators and reps are in Congress? 535. There's 435 reps, there's 100 senators. What is in charge of running the Senate meetings? The vice President runs the meetings. The majority leader runs the Senate, but the meetings are run by the Vice President. They actually have a little marble in the movie. It's like a re remake of it. It's like a little marble hourglass. It's not like a handle thing on the other. have a handle. It's something. I can smash my finger pretty easy if I didn't want to. Yeah, it looks, it kind of looks like, like a big chess piece or something. Like a little spin. Yeah, yeah. Jerry got broke. So I'm going to add just bam. Um, like spending is spending money you don't have. Deficit. Deficit. We're good at that. Mm -hmm. I just got rid of America. Yeah. Well What's the 60 votes it takes to limit the debate? Closure. If a government official is blind, Congress is accusing them of breaking the law. <laughs> what fruit would you want thrown at you? Strawberry. That would still, even though. It's people can't really throw a watermelon. Blueberry. No, blueberry. A coconut. Anything else? Even a grape wouldn't feel good. Grape? It's a good grape. It's going to be kind of soft. It's annoying. Blueberry is probably pretty good. Kiwi? What about a kiwi? Because we're still kind of small. Probably, probably a red. Is they have pollen? Any, any of the switch. any of those? Yeah, mm -hmm. those I would not want a pizza. Districts are drawn to give a group an advantage. Sure. Gerrymandering. Legal ownership of an idea or invention. Okay. Ownership of a picture or a story or a poem is a copyright. Um, when are the congressional districts redrawn? Every 10 years, because they have to have the census. They have to have the numbers. They can figure out what they do. So it is after the census. It's after reapportionment. But tie in the census with that. It has to be after the census because we've got to have the population so we can figure everything out. Um, so we work for like every 10 years. Yeah. And I 
ask why. The Senate, a continuous body in the House of Congress. Not all the senators are coming back. They don't start over. The House, everybody has to be reelected. Almost all of them are. Yeah, we vote in Texas. We vote for our senators. What is in control of the House and the Senate? Majority party. Always the same. It protects us if it's not. It's just a big number. Lincoln, a pocket veto would be used by the Senate. Today's the majority. Now, if you're voting on a bill, what are three things that would pressure you or your personal constituents and your, your personal future? and your constituents. Built for the law, we'll put those, there's what it looks like. We'll put the, the letter and order on the numbers. So I had some people put the numbers over here. I don't understand. I'm like, what? what? Like the old, don't do that. All right, impeachment. Prosecuting attorney. What does a prosecuting attorney do? That is evidence. That's a proof deal. We have impeachment. Who is the prosecuting attorney? House Judiciary Committee. Grand jury. What does a grand jury do? Should there be a trial? We have enough for a trial here. Who is the grand jury in the impeachment? The House. The House Judiciary Committee is going to report to the House and say we need to impeach this person. The House votes. They vote to impeach or not to impeach. Where would the trial be held? In the Senate. The Senate is the jury. What does the jury do? Guilt or innocence. If they're guilty, it isn't punishment. And the judge, when would the vice president be the judge? If it's a judge, the vice president will stay and be a judge. If it's the president or vice president being impeached, the chief justice. I'll look over some of this. If you need to do something else, that's fine. Let's do tomorrow. That's all it is.